Because if you sit down, you don't have to wear a mask. Yeah, you don't. You don't take one, drive into a, you don't. You sit down, right? So just quick, I'll tell the story about Tim Hortons. I walked in without a mask. I said, I want a coffee. This is down here. She said, I'm not serving you, so you have to put a mask on. I said, I just want a coffee. She said, no. She said, no, get out of my store. I said, not without my coffee. She said, I'm not serving you, so put a mask on. So I always carry a shield. You know those face shields? What does a shield do when you drop your sword? It protects you, right? And it works. I've been wearing a shield or carrying it everywhere I go. And when, and when you want the mask man to, to, to let you go and leave you alone, I just put the shield on. And for some reason, they accept it. It doesn't, it doesn't stop my breathing. It gives me clean, fresh air every time. It's not. It's better. So anyway, I said, I'll put my mask on, or my shield on. And she said, no, you have to leave and come back in with your shield on. I said, are you nuts? She says, I mean it, get the F out of my store. Then she come around the corner and start pushing me on the door. You can't make this stuff up, people. Anyway, I said, I gotta go now, I got my coffee. She said, I'm not serving you. I said, no, I already got my coffee. The lady in front of me, that's my wife. Yeah, thank you. And if you don't believe me, you can ask her, right? It's a mostly true story, but it's, it's true. Thank you. Support, support us. Where are you going to be at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning? Enfield Truck Star! CSR! Thank you! Thank you very much, Larry. And I, I don't know about the rest of you, but from the beginning of this, right the way through, I have not worn a mask. I will not wear a mask. I don't need to wear a mask. We know they don't work. What's the point? If people feel they need to enforce it for their own safety, they shouldn't even be out in public. Okay, do we have uh, Susanna around? Hello there, how are you? Now I'm not the best at meditation, but I am aware of its ability to focus and reflect, as well as many other possibilities. I have Susanna Kovacs here today to talk to us about this. How are you today? Greetings, Nova Scotia, how are you? It's so good to see you all. I drive two hours every time just to see you and feel the energy that you're reflecting here on this hill and it's fantastic, it's amazing guys. So <clears throat> I see an ocean of people creating a huge tidal wave that is coming and growing and it's gonna wipe the evil off of the earth and guess what's coming after the tidal wave is gone? If you Remember the word evil. If you lift that word and read it backwards, what is it coming to? What is evil? Say in a backwards. Please say it loud. Yes, that's what's coming. We are transitioning from old to something new. And this transition between the two worlds is chaos. And that's what we are experiencing right now. So, um... So we all here motivated by different reasons, different uh, uh, issues we have with this, uh, what government are uh, trying to force on us. But there is one thing is brought us here today, it's our heart. And your heart told you this morning that you have to be here on this hill and be, be together with all of us. So I brought something with me, it's something very small, but it helped me through uh, this chaotic er er world right now, and I hope it helps you as well. It's called the uh, Heart and Mind Coherence. It's promoted by the Heart, uh, Heart Math Institute. If you, some of you are familiar with Dr. Do Joe Dispenza and Greg Braden's work, it only takes a few minutes, so if you can uh, participate on this as a group, uh, bring the frequency to the higher level, so we can spread this beautiful heart energy over this city and just change people's mind and heart with that. So I'm asking you, I'd like to invite you actually, if you can follow through three simple steps through this meditation.
validation. It's only there. If you can bring your hands into your heart, any way you like, you can bring it in prayer, you can just touch your heart a little bit as, as whatever you can. And just you welcome to close your eyes if this is something it helps you with and just bring your focus in the beautiful heart of yours in your chest. And just take a few natural breath in and out. And just whatever energy you are in right now, just accept it and just grow from there. And now you shift your breathing. Take a little bit longer breath here, in and out, a longer inhales and exhales. And just feel that heart. brought you in here today to this heal together. Sense the people around you. Feel the earth on the 